The U.S. Director of National Intelligence says North Korea has taken steps to deploy a long-range mobile intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching the U.S. He also added the reclusive regime is reactivating its uranium enrichment facilities. Our Park ji tells us more. This is the KN-08 intercontinental ballistic missile, which made its first public appearance during a military parade in North Korea in April 2012 to mark the 100th anniversary of the birth of the country's founder, Kim Il-sung. It is estimated to have a maximum potential range of roughly 12,000 kilometers, enough to reach U.S. soil. U.S. Director of National Intelligence James Klepper said in written testimony recently submitted to a U.S. House committee that North Korea is taking steps towards the missile's early deployment. Other U.S. defense experts have previously warned that North Korea is capable of building intercontinental ballistic missiles, although they haven't yet been flight tested. We believe that, uh, that they have the technical capabilities and the skill to produce an ICBM. Uh, they claim that they have done so. Regarding Pyongyang's nuclear development program, Klepper, the U.S. national intelligence chief, said that North Korea has expanded its uranium enrichment facilities at its Yangbyon nuclear complex following its third nuclear test in February 2013. He added that North Korea is focusing on developing its weapons of mass destruction, missiles and nuclear arms, and exporting the technologies to other countries, including Iran and Syria. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.